What's up guys, this is Justin from Hip Science, and today we're gonna to be talking about supercooled water. So what is supercooled water? Well, supercooled water is water that exists below zero degrees Celsius, which is typically the freezing point of water. So water exists as a liquid at room temperature, and when you cool it below zero degrees Celsius, which is its freezing point, it becomes a solid, which we know as ice. But there's something weird going on with purified water or bottled water that hasn't been opened yet where we can cool it below zero degrees Celsius, making it into super cooled water that we can do some pretty cool stuff with. So how is that possible? Well, first you have to understand what the difference is between a liquid and a solid. So in a liquid, the molecules are sort of rolling past each other, moving around in this amorphous fashion that's characteristic of a liquid, whereas in a solid, the molecules are sort of fixed in these crystalline, rigid type structures that ultimately build off each other and make ice or crystals or solid structures. So in order for a liquid to become a solid, there has to be an event called a nucleation where a point in the liquid exists at which the molecules are grouped together and form a sort of crystalline structure or a seed crystal that other crystals can sort of build off, ultimately making the solid as a whole. So impure water, tap water, regular water, has impurities in it that act as sites for this nucleation or seed crystals that basically enable the crystalline crystallization process to occur as this chain reaction. But purified bottled water, on the other hand, doesn't have those impurities, so we can cool it below zero degrees Celsius and do some exciting stuff with it like this. So one thing we can do is drop an ice cube into a glass of supercooled water, and as you can see, it freezes immediately. Another thing that we can do is rather than dropping the seed crystal into the ice or into the supercooled water, we can just sort of place it right here on top and as you can see, it immediately freezes into place. Now, we don't need to introduce the seed crystal into the water. Another thing we could do is introduce the water directly onto the seed crystal and as you see here, it sort of freezes on contact making these cool ice sculptures. But lastly, all that freezing really is is that when Molecules get cold, they sort of contract and get closer together. And when they get close enough together, they are sort of forced to bond into this crystal-like structure I was talking about. So all we really need to do is give a supercooled water bottle a little jolt, a little shake, even a little hit, and that will pressurize it to a point where we force a seed crystal to be created and Mother Nature will take over the rest of the work, as you can see here. See it freezing up there. Starting from top to bottom, yeah. Super cool water tricks, now you got them. Water always freezes from top to bottom. But getting it to work at times can be tricky. Glad you made it this far, but yo stick with me. If we grab a water bottle that has not yet been opened. I'm talking about a water bottle with a seal that is unbroken. Take it out the fridge, pop it in the freezer, leave it for an hour 15. Then take it out the freezer, but not too fast. Make sure to do it carefully. Cause all it needs is a little jolt to, well, you know, nucleate. And premature nucleation can make for a grueling wake. So come back if it doesn't work, but just keep trying and quit complaining. How many cats you know with a science show where they be rapping and explaining. All right, that's all we got for you, folks. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Hip Science and stay tuned for more videos. Until then, signing off. Justin, thanks. Take care.